Prince Arizu was the Futamaros best hope in containing the Ateneo Blue Eagles rookie MVP candidate Angelo Kawam in their Uwap season sweep bid on Saturday, October 20. However, all that came to a screeching halt after Arizu went down with a yet unidentified leg injury after just under seven minutes of action. The six foot seven veteran openly wept on the court before being helped out by his teammates. Arizu would not return for the night as Kawam expectedly exploded for a career high monster double double of 33 points and 27 rebounds, 14 offensive, in the Blue Eagles 82 62 route. But right now, head coach Olsen Rosella is only concerned for his ward's health and nothing more. The injury to Prince obviously was not planned, and he's the only one that can match up to Cowan, he said after the game. We did things we don't normally do in the second half just to keep the game closed. Bottom line is, I'm just proud of the way these guys fought under the circumstances. Dot prior to the game, the Nigerian center was averaging 9.4 points and a team high 10. Nine rebounds on a whopping 73.3% shooting clip across eight games. This time, he only had two points and one board as his team absorbed the sorry loss. We don't know yet. He's at the hospital to get an X-ray. Hopefully, the results are negative, Rosella said of Arizu's injury. There's no swelling. We're hoping it's just the muscle. He couldn't put weight on it. Told the guys, proud of the way we fought today. But this is just one game, and there are things more important than basketball. Prayed for Prince's health. Likewise, Ateneo assistant coach Sandy Aris Pakachaga also said that the Eagles have kept Arizu in their prayers during and after the game. I don't know if he tore something, but he really couldn't put weight on it. We're hoping he's okay, Rosella continued. Foo, which absorbed back-to-back -back losses for the first time this season, kept a share of third place with LaSalle at 5-4, with us nipping at their heels at 4-4. Atenio and Adamson also kept a share of the top spot with 7-2 records. The Tamaraz will next face the 3-5 up fighting Maroons on Wednesday, October 24th.